Ben's Brian A here. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying it yet again. Um, I know I constantly apologise every game I do um, for not uploading loads, but to be fair, right, I've got a canny busy life. I mean, you might not think it, like, but I've actually got friends. I mean, I'm a bit of a, you know, I'm a bit disabled, and apparently uh, my friends get paid to go out with us. Because uh, according to Sam McCartney, um, my parents actually pay him money to actually pretend to be my friend, but I don't believe it. Um, so yeah, that's like one of the reasons that I haven't been doing these. Also, schoolwork. I'm a bit of a swat. I don't canny shit in me s's, so I'm starting to pull me finger out of me arsehole and actually doing some work. But like I say, I'm gonna try and do loads of uh, commentaries for you because you know I love doing these. It's a Friday night. You know, I'm I'm it's, I'm 18 in two weeks exactly today. I'm fucking buzzing, so I'll be out getting pissed um, from now on. So I'm making the most of these lazy, non-invited out Friday nights and doing a commentary. I've got loads to talk about. Oh my god, that half the commentaries fucking went already. Anyway, first thing I'm going to talk about um, is Black Ops. I mean, obviously this is my first proper commentary for it. It's fucking mint. The music you're hearing um, is actually played on this um, map itself. This map's called Plaza, and in the little Raji Disco. Um, disco, oh my god, I sound like a fucking 80 year old. Um, they've got this uh, music playing. I'ma try it out by Skrillex, go and fucking buy it, you know? He's, he's not paying us to say it, I've got any fucking views. Anyway, next thing, the fucking DSR 50. It's an absolutely mint gun, it's not the one I'm using, but I've got another mint gameplay, but the only reason I'm using this one is because I got a mint Warthog. Uh, Warthog's like a fucking kill streak, score streak, playing comes down. Rapes a lot of them like a bunch of fucking Afghan children and fucks off. Oh my god, speaking of war, how mint was Gaza and Israel? And now there'll be loads of people like saying I sound proper harsh, but I love a good war, me. No, I'm in all seriousness, I thought it was a uh, it was Kani Shan, but both sides should stop being naughty little boys, else you get put in fucking detention by the UN. Anyway, I've got a job, yes. Me, employed, some poor bastard has actually thought I'm capable of doing a job. So anyway, I'm not going to tell you where it is. Half of the people watching will actually know where it is. But, um, yeah, I'm buzzing. It was my first ever interview. Went in, steamed in, told them a load of lovely stuff about us. I even mentioned me comment we making, which obviously they haven't seen yet. Or else I'll be sacked. But, um, yep. Yeah, it's absolutely class, all I do is stay on my feet, I'm a sales assistant, stay on my feet and chat away to people who will talk to us and if nobody will talk to us, I'll talk the fucking Christmas lights. Shit, you might guess where I'll work if we sell Christmas lights. We don't sell Christmas lights, we sell clothes and shit. That, that'll fucking throw you off the scent, you bastards. So yeah, um, it's I, I'm loving it, I'm really enjoying it. I get a good wage and obviously you know, the whole, your whole life's about money. I mean, I've just been looking into uni, you know. Uh, this time next year, Jesus Christ, this time next year I'll be literally finishing my first semester at uni, it's like ridiculous, that's if I get in, so that's why I've been swatting it, you know, it's all, it's all fitting together, but uh, the cost of uni is absolutely ridiculous, I mean, I, it's astronomical, you get your, you get your loan, right, fair play, I'm not going to be one of these people who sits and moans about this nine grand and says, oh god, I'm going to have to pay all nine grand back, because to be fair, it is like a graduate tax, but still, man, it's your living cost, it's maintenance, it's fucking actually trying to live by yourself. Oh my god, I've actually got to move away from me, mom. Fuck that shit. Four of my five choices are in Newcastle. I'm going nowhere. I'm, I'm here on my home. I sound, like, I sound like I'm off Geordie Shore, Jesus Christ. I don't normally talk this Geordie. Oh, I do. I actually do talk this Geordie normally. Uh, but I must sound like a bit of a divvy to people who don't know us. In fact, why am I even saying that? I am a fucking divvy. Um, if my voice sounds a bit funny, I've got a, not a bad throat, I've got a crackly throat. But also my headset that I use to record these games with, I've got a headset on. And it, like a little microphone sticks out of it. And you know on the end of a microphone, it's like a little fleshy, you know, foam bit. It's a foam, it's foam, isn't it? Um, I've lost that fucker, so I've went to the toilet and got some wank fucking roll and wrapped it round. Speaking of wanks, I'll have one after this. No, it's minging. No, I'm not. I'll go and back on Black Ops, I'm such a sad cunt.
get a kind of get it honestly get a kind of diet coke get black ops on and watch fucking uh what you call him jonathan ross later my night is sorted i don't even care what other people do you know i've got a mint life be thankful for what you've got for god's sake i sound like an absolute spat todd i haven't even talked about football yet and this literal this comedy is literally halfway through but I will wait because I'm going to go through my Christmas list because that's like a, a, a thing that people do. Anyway, because I'm growing up, I'm actually like, my mum showed us half my fucking Christmas presents, like clothes and that. But um, I'm going to save up all my 18th birthday money because I've hopefully I'll get quite a bit of that shit. Um, and get me Christmas money, make something together. I want a laptop, that's what I want. I want it for uni. I want it for making some mint videos because the computer, I'm, this, it's getting old, you know, it's three, four years old. Speaking of my birthday, you know, I can't wait for my party. Uh, if you're watching this and you're not invited, um, and I know you, then it's probably a mistake. So, you know, don't don't be scared to mention it. That's what I've been saying to people. Don't be scared to mention it. But it's not a fucking plus one event, you know. Don't stop bringing your lasses. Just ask us first. I'll say hi. But I've got to pay a freaking 13 quid a head or something. No, it's not. It's like seven quid a head. Yeah, something like seven quid a head. And, you know, I don't want some knobheads there. I mean, we've got enough of them. Half my family's on fucking tack. They're not, you know, nobody in my family's on drugs. Drugs are naughty. But they, they seem like they're on drugs. They're all, they're all as crazy as me, man. They're all as crazy as me. Right, now I'm going to talk about football because the reason I've been talking about it is because Newcastle are fucking shit. Fucking shit. Oh, my God. I went to the West Ham game. I went to the Swansea game. Both home games. Put me barber jacket on, put me fucking tune top on. I swear to God, them two cunts are fucking unlucky. Went to both games and got beat. I mean, lots of people watching this will be Newcastle fans, and I just want to know other people's opinions on what's actually going wrong because I, I don't. We can use Europe as an excuse to a point, but the fact of the matter is, half of the squad aren't even playing. We've got loads of injuries, right? We've got absolutely loads of injuries, and it doesn't help having fucking Fabrizio Colaccini getting sent off against Liverpool because he fucking dog raped Luis Suarez in the leg, right? But even then, we shouldn't be getting beat off the likes of, right, I'm sorry like Swansea fans, although Nannies will be watching it. How can we get beat off your shite? You bring about three fans and a donkey. I mean, you're absolutely shite and we get beat off you, so, uh, oh, poor man, stop watching us! And you're not gonna feel a fucking draft. Harry right, Nobbins, um, my stepdad's just came and started looking. Oh my god, I'm making a comment. I'm making a commentary, man. I'm in the middle of it. So, I'm not swearing, man. Paul, Paul, let us finish this. Fucking man. Alright. What? Oh my god, I'm in the middle of doing one of these, man. I can't re record it. I don't want to. See you later, Paulie. Well, knock you out. Right, well that's ruined me whole commentary them two bugger looks is trying to ruin it. What was I talking about? I was talking about Newcastle, absolutely crap. And uh, that's all I've got to say about them, to be honest with you. Last night, Maritimo at home, should have won. Scored against it, 21,000, an absolutely pathetic excuse for an attendance. I mean, honestly, the tickets are five quid. You can't even complain to Mike Ashley. You can't complain to anybody. I mean, I know financial times are hard in that, but five quid to go and watch a top class, or a supposedly top class football team is uh, absolutely now in my book and um, I think people should do you know what I'm going to put put it out right there I wasn't even there last night I've been at every other game this year apart from that one and to be honest with you it's because I had to go to football myself I, I'd rather play football myself than actually go and watch that shite because it's absolutely it was absolutely pathetic absolutely pathetic alright here we go I've got some shout outs Josh Douglas told us to give him an absolute lengthy shout out so there you go mate i like your fucking beard it's absolutely wicked i wish i had to grow facial hair um and also 22 dropout my mate ezra he's in a band Um, he's the he's the lead singer and um, i'm just the song actually comes on in about three four minutes from now so uh just stick till the end and have a listen to it and go and have a look at their facebook that's all i can say they're uh, they've got look oh, i love them man the, the the song that um that the maids called a life alone and it's actually written about me, so I can't complain. It's also got me down to a T because um, making YouTube commentaries on a Friday night is um, something that will probably make me live all by myself. Here, oh, here comes a song. Um, I will probably live a life alone. 
final point. Um, I've got. I, I like to do some weird research on a on a weekend if I've got a spare time. It sounds so sad. And um, the last two weeks I've done North Korea in Area 51. So uh, please comment in the comment section below something utterly pointless for me to become an expert on because to be fair that's what I've got. Oh my God! There's the end. Come goodbye everybody. Subscribe.